GTA 3 2001 Game probably changer. like the most influential game ever like yeah. right there guys you don't understand how mind blowing this game was 3D open world and they just like yeah go do your thing Yo. wow. it was mental and also the, the thing of they gave you guns that responded differently they gave you weather that responded differently they yeah. gave you cars that all responded responded differently um there was outfit was the outfit changes no no not no. in one Not in three. Um, yeah, but it, talking about the radio, back to that. I feel like we're going to be all over the place for this. But anyway, um, even in again in uh, the one and two, music was always on point. The talk radio was always like they spent so much time giving you other parts of the game that made the experience within the game yeah. Yeah. so much better as well. The talk radio in, uh, I think it's Vice City. And even not even talk radio when they would call back after the song where they would go back to the DJs they spend time making those things absolutely I don't think there was a the easier other game that gave you so much other sideline content that just adds to your actual yeah. thing yeah it makes it makes it just makes the world feel lived in it makes yeah. the world yeah. feel alive it is it existed before you and it exists after you as well and yes. even when you're not playing you're like hmm, I wonder what the radio DJ is saying right yeah. now like Yeah, it feels like it, it carries on without it's, you. It's yeah. like it's that sense of like it's moving, like the world is moving without yeah. you, yeah, which is yeah. which was super jazz. And and, it was, and it's also the thing of if you change stations, you don't. The song doesn't start when you yes. change the station. Yeah, it was just always running. Yes, I feel like this the whole series of GTA understood the demographic. They yes. understood yeah. the market. They understood what players. Would do that thing of going. Let me look behind this wall because there might be something. Now there's a pigeon there that you must shoot. Shoot, yeah. Those kinds yeah. of things. There's a small thing over here. I'm gonna climb. They, you know what we speak of in um, gaming law. Yes. They taught us gaming law. Yeah. They, they taught they, you like they, climb they, to the highest point, jump. They knew we we're gonna fucking do that. Kind they, they took like all of those things. I feel like you. If we could get like a designer on the original GTA to talk about this, did you guys go? Can a player can a player try this? Do they want to try this? Okay, we're putting it in. Like, yeah. is that like the design logic? Because that's what I felt like was in there. It was like, oh, can I climb here? Can I knock into this thing? Why does this set on fire? Can I climb into the back of an ambulance? Like, everything felt like they touched on in yeah. some way. Yeah. And like GTA 3 was probably like the most limited in terms of of that. We yeah. they were going like, okay. This is all we can give for now. And the other thing with the uh, the thing I think like the full series is that you could do so much other things in terms of like if you're getting in the police car, you get police missions. Yes. Yeah. Ambulance missions, taxi. fire truck missions, taxi <laughs> missions. Then also like if you get in the police car, you get armor. Because that makes sense. They that's do that's it. such simple like touches, you know. Like, do you know what I just never used to understand when I was younger and I was first playing GTA 3? I'm like I'm a cop. Why are the cops now chasing after me for doing police work? And then only later on, I realized it's vigilante missions. I'm yes. not supposed to be doing this. Because <laughs> they're like, wait a minute. That's not supposed to we happen. We don't have those guns. Why are, you, why are you being a policeman with a bat? <laughs> or bazooka. That step up of like GTA Vice City from 3 was... Actually, like if you think about it, it was so significant in terms of what they did. They added like a named, like a proper named character with speaking lines, yeah. like Tommy Vasetti, and like a proper, like fleshed-out story, like about him kind yeah. of getting back into Vice City yeah. and taking over. That alone was amazing. Then I remember you could buy property in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, because you could buy your hideout, so you had yeah, to like yeah. go do the crime, like go make your money. And you can just pick up the other thing that they gave you the money that the, from the people you killed. That was also nice. <laughs> yeah, the things you could do in San Andreas, like you eat too much, no, he gets fat. You go work out at the gym, he gets buff. Like, and then also too buff is also a problem. Yes, yes. Like being super fit is like super muscular. Also makes you slow again. Yeah, which was also like a great small ad that you needed. And then also. If you do get buff and you punch someone, you punch hard. Yes. It's like a one punch kills, but at the same time now you can't run fast. Yeah, and yeah, then they like, gave, it gave us bicycles. It yeah, so let us uh, jump with bicycles. It gave us so much. Yeah, yeah, space and you could space. get like if you rode on the bicycles, you'd like lose weight. Also, yeah, up your fit, up your stamina. Yes, lose weight. Yeah, it was like such 
simple like things that they took yeah. into co- consideration that just like up that feel. Yeah, it it felt obviously in certain ways, but it felt like proper like RPG mechanics in a way with, yes. with that stuff, building your strength, uh, building your stamina. But then also when you're driving, your driving skill increases. Yes, and you could go oh, to driving yes. school to make it increase even more. So the driving schools, the flight schools, the bike schools were like almost separate games in and in and of themselves. There was so much to do in the games that sometimes. I didn't feel like I needed to do. That's the that's rest what of the it, it always felt like, and I think that kind of st- like that inspired like this wave of like open world games where it's just like go just do your own things, exactly. man. Yeah, yeah. Like go explore, go have fun. It's not about finishing the game. Yeah, it's about just enjoying yourself. <laughs>